Hi class, Dr. Sands here. I want to welcome you to Search Engine Optimization DMKT380. I will be your instructor for the next eight weeks, which I am super excited to be along with you for this journey. All right, well, other than saying hello and welcome, I wanted to just take a minute to uh, point out a few key elements of your classroom. So as you log in, the first thing you're going to see here is your syllabus, ask a professor, community, study room, live tutoring, and online counseling. So very important to always, very important to look at your syllabus. One of the first things you do when you start a new class and with every assignment, not only look at the assignment requirements, but also look at the syllabus because it's important as what it will provide you ultimately is my grading rubric. So you want to ensure that you not only look at the assignment requirements, you also look at the syllabus to ensure that you have everything covered. Now here for Ask a Professor, if you have any questions for me, you can click there and leave a question. Also, you can send me an email to you know my LAPU uh, professor email address. I have it on my phone and I get it right away. Sometimes I don't see the messages here on Ask a Professor. You can also text me if you need to get in touch with me. The best thing though, send me an email. All right, so when you get started with class, click on the community button and introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you at in your academic studies? If you're currently working, where are you working? And whereabouts in the country are, do you live? It's always good to, to meet each other and uh, say hello. And once you introduce yourself, come on back and say hello to your uh, fellow classmates. It's a good way to build community on an online learning environment. All right, so want to scroll down, click on the assignment tab here. All right, so for this class, we do have uh, four assignments uh, in week three, uh, keyword search and research, week four, SEO project part one, category and keyword uh, identification, week six, SEO pro uh, project part two, keyword brainstorm and analyzing Google rankings. And then the, the part three and your second to last week, week seven, is SEO uh, infographic with, explan with explanations. All right, so those are the four uh, pro uh, uh, assignments that you have due in class. And I would recommend that right away you, you take a look at the assignments and what's required until you know what's coming ahead of you. All right, let's go back to the course home. Another important part of your your uh, your online class is the announcements section. I do post announcements regularly here, and what I do currently have posted in class is uh, welcome to class. And let's see. So in this welcome to class, it's of course me saying hello here, and also you know what are the learning you know the the course learning outcomes. So. Um, what uh, is listed here is the five key learning outcomes that uh, you can expect to learn when you get through your eight-week journey here. Uh, and then also, you know, not only uh, learning about um, search engine optimization, but it's also infusing the Christian principles. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it's a, it's a quick bio about myself, professional experiences, my education, and of course my teaching experience. Um, I've also have a, a brief uh, video here that I created that take a few minutes to watch it also says hello and talks a little bit about myself all right let's go back to announcements another one I just want to uh, uh, point out here is APA formatting so every research paper that says APA formatting required required its APA formatting now I've actually taught it taught APA uh, for quite some time uh, out of the manual. A lot of very a lot of really good aspects in the APA manual, but there's a lot of stuff in there you don't need for this the uh, this, the length of papers that is required for APA formatting in this class. So take a minute. I do have um, a video here that walks through those key elements of APA formatting that you should mat learn to master when you're in school. And you can take that with you in any class because it's right out of the manual. All right. Uh, a couple other uh, postings I have in there already, of course, uh, about uh, introducing yourself in the community area we were touched on, and references and in-text citations. So every time 
your assignment uh, or discussion question uh, states to provide a reference you need to use that reference at least once in the body of your assignment doesn't matter if it's a discussion question response your initial response or if it's in the body of a you know APA uh, required formatted paper all right let's go back to the course and then one last thing we'll take a quick look at <clears throat> Week one discussion questions is, oh, and, and of course here in week one, you have a lot of good assignments, uh, a lot of good uh, resources that are provided for you, you know, week after week. So please be sure to look at that. And then your week one discussion. And say requirements right here. So this requirement um, where it says APA formatting minimum one industry uh, authoritative or scholarly scholarly source. So that means that your initial post has to be 150 to 200 words supported by a reference. And like we just covered, that reference has to be used at least once in the body of your written response. All right. Well, again, my name is Dr. Sands. I'm excited to uh, be your uh, professor for these eight weeks. I'm excited for our journey. Uh, and again, uh, reach out if you have any questions. And um, I'm excited for this journey we're on together. God bless.